Hey guys, it's Trev. You know, one of the most popular questions I get online is how do I set up my mass storage device in my Model 3 to use for sentry mode, dash cam, maybe even split it, maybe you want to put some music on there. So today's video, we're actually going to spend a little time and show you how to set up a solid state drive in your car. Don't recommend USB keys. Solid state drive in order to achieve that. And I'm going to show you how to do it on Mac and I'm also going to show you how to do it on a Windows computer. So to begin, we're gonna do this on the Mac. The application that you need to use to format hard drives, USB keys, and the like is something called Disk Utility. You'll find that under Applications Utilities. The shortcut on the Mac is Command Shift U. So you want this app here, you run Disk Utility. Now in this case here, when you first get the Samsung T5, it will be likely formatted as NTFS. These are generally used for Windows, but because the computer on the Model 3 only really understands and can only write to FAT32 volumes, we need to do uh, some things. Now, you're perfectly capable of here just clicking Erase and just picking a different format style. I've originally formatted this here as Mac OS Extended. The format you need here is MS-DOS FAT, but before we do that, maybe you want to be like me and have maybe a certain portion of the drive dedicated to music and the other half for Tesla uh, dash cam and sentry mode. So what you want to do is actually do a partition now, when you first bring up this window, you're going to find, even though you can pick MS-DOS FAT, you can't pick a size. Now, in this case here, my, I've looked at my iTunes library, which is what I'm going to copy over to the computer. It's about 150 gigabyte. This Samsung drive, by the way, is 500 gigabytes. So let's say I split it 50-50 so I get some breathing room. So the way that I do this is, first, I need to format it as something other than MS-DOS. So I'm going to pick uh, Mac OS Extended Journaled here. And then, lo and behold, now I can pick in a different size. So I'm going to put in 250 gigabytes. So that'll give me two partitions, one here and one here. So the first thing I want to do here is format that one as MS-DOS. And I'm going to pick the second one and format as MS-DOS as well. You can also give this a title. So let's just call this uh, Tesla on this side. And then this one here, I'm going to call it music, music. There we go. Okay. Now you're done. You just click apply. The computer will now uh, warn you that we're going to partition this. And it just takes a few moments to do this. All right, we're done. So now we have two partitions, one named music and the other one called Tesla. I'll just show him here on my desktop. So we have two volumes here, Tesla and music. So we're going to use this partition, which is 250 gigabytes, and we're going to create a folder at the top level, and we have to call it Tesla Cam, spelt exactly like this. This is the folder or the directory that the computer in the Model 3 will use to store all of your sentry mode and your dash cam footage. So in order to put the music on my drive, I have a folder here in iTunes. I, I don't recommend you take the iTunes folder itself. Just select everything that you have here and you can copy it over. However, if your music library is rather large like mine, I'm in the habit of using rsync. I don't trust the finder to copy everything over correctly. By the way, I should mention that when you bring over your MP3s, the ID3 tags and the album art do come over. It does pay to spend a little time here to organize your folder, which is something that iTunes does by default, as long as your MP3s have ID3 tags. I've spent a considerable amount of time getting my stuff set up. So what I do is I use Terminal. Uh, this is a little bit Unix geeky, but there is a command in here called rsync. It stands for remote sync and just use these switches you don't need to do anything fancy here all right so the command is rsync um, all verbose times progress and update this just makes sure that if something blows up whatever i can reissue the command and it will pick up exactly where it left off. So I'm gonna take the iTunes folder and drag it into my window, and I'm gonna put a trailing slash to tell it to move the contents over and not the iTunes folder itself. And then the destination is easy. We just put a space on there, drag the word or the uh, volume here called music back up and put a trailing slash and hit go. And then off it goes. This uh, may take a little time depending how big your library is, but this will guarantee that all of your music is uh, copied over in its entirety. Yeah, so that everything works. Now just be aware the first time when you plug in your drive, especially with all your music, the computer in your Model 3 is going to spend some time indexing that library. That can take anywhere from one minute to 10 minutes, depending on how much stuff you have on there. Just let it finish. And once you're done, you'll be able to tap on the media button, go over to USB, 
and then you'll see your complete library and you're ready to go. All right, we're in Windows. This is Windows 10. Now, when you get one of these new drives and you plug it in, it should just work out of the box in a Windows computer. The problem is, is that it comes formatted as NTFS. And that's obviously not going to work in the Tesla. So in order to make the changes, we need to run an application. So just go down to the search utility and just type in the word disk and just pick this option where it says create and format hard disk partitions. This will run the application so you can manipulate hard drives. So here's the SSD here down at the bottom. It's a 500 uh, gigabyte and it is formatted as NTFS. Here's what you want to do. You can right click and you can pick format, but there's a problem here under file system. We can't pick FAT32. Windows 10 doesn't allow us to pick FAT32. So we need a utility to get around that. So I happen to have one here bookmarked. And I'll put a link in the video description you guys can use. So this is the utility you're going to download. So just click on it and you'll get this application you can run. Yes, thank you. Let's minimize this. So that we have this graphical utility and we can point it at the drive letter. In this case, it's drive E that formats to this here. Uh, let's give it a new volume name. Let's call it Tesla just for fun. And we can pick quick format. Now, allocation and unit size, this is how many gigabytes you want. So you can do half or you can do full. If you want, you can certainly pick full and use the complete volume just for your Tesla cam and your century mode footage. But maybe you want to do music. So, you know, if I was to click start, it'll warn me. Yes. Okay, fine. Do that. And it will format the whole hard drive. And we're done. So now if I just open up a new folder window here and just go down, there's your Tesla drive. Of course, you click here and create a new folder here at the top level. And make sure you call it Tesla Cam, just like that. And this volume will be used for Sentry Mode and your dash cam. You're ready to go. Just, you know, unplug it, put it in your Tesla, and you're good. However, if you're like me and you want to split it, maybe 50-50 for music, well, we need to make a slight change. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to take the primary volume that we created in here. We're actually going to delete it. Now we need to create two volumes. So we're going to click, right click and pick new simple volume. And whatever number shows up in here, just divide it by half. If that's what you want to do in my case. Yes, I'd like it to be 50 50. So I'm going to pick 238, 369. And I'm going to assign it to the default letter E. That's fine. Don't change anything else on here. We will change the NTFS using the utility here in a second. I'm just going to call this one here called Tesla. We definitely want to do a perform a quick format. Otherwise, you'll be sitting here for hours trying to format this drive. There's no data on it. I don't care at this point. And once the format is done, the drive will just pop up. All right, so now let's take the second part here. This is the second partition. It's currently unallocated. We're gonna right click and pick new simple volume. And I'm just gonna accept the defaults because it's the other 50%. I'm gonna leave it to drive F. And this one, I'm gonna call it music, just like I did on the Mac. Again, perform quick format, accept the defaults. And once it's done formatting, it should come up as music as drive F. So here's where the fun begins. We need to convert these to FAT32. So I'm going to use my utility over here again. So I'm going to pick the drive E. Uh, we're going to pick that. That looks pretty good. We're going to call that Tesla and quick format. I'm going to hit start. It's going to warn me. Yes. And you'll see here that it's now formatted as FAT32. I will repeat the same process here for the drive F and make sure the quick format, I can call that music if I want. Here, hit, hit start, and it will format that partition as FAT32. And here we go, so FAT32 here, FAT32 here. And again, if I open them up on the computer, Windows is perfectly happy to use FAT32, it just won't let you format it, so that's why you gotta use this utility. So again, here on the Tesla side, I'm gonna create a folder, and I call it Tesla Cam, there we go. And on the music side, if you have an iTunes music library, whatever, you can copy it over or loose files if you'd like. However, I do recommend you put things in a folder, uh, keep things nice and organized. And basically, that's the process of how to do it on Windows or a Mac. Well, there you go. That's how you set up a solid state drive to use in your Tesla, either on a Mac or Windows, whatever persuasion that you have for whatever purpose you want. Hey, I got to put 30 years worth of computer experience out there for you guys to make it easy for you. Anyways, if you like the video, smash that like button. And don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you later. Thanks for watching.